Hey guys, check this out. So you've got a Digitrack system at home or at your club and you're wanting to take that to the next level with some Wi-Fi throttles. And what I'm talking about is not using your cell phone and your local net Wii or even the Proto Throttle or an ESU Mobile Control 2 throttle. But what I'm talking about is a state-of-the-art throttle that's available now, not a pie-in-the-sky future product that we're waiting for to come out someday, but something that you can use right now on your own layout and you can use your existing Digitrack system. You don't have to rewire a bunch of stuff. It's just a two-step simple process. And at the end of the video, I will show you a couple other throttle options that are available that can also help you improve your operations. Okay, I just want to start out saying that this will work with any of the Digitrax command stations, uh, the DCS-100, the 240, even uh, the Zephyrs. Uh, you can continue to use all your same Digitrax equipment just like you have been, such as your BDL-168s, your SE8Cs, the PM42s, uh, your UR receivers, the UP5 panels. Um, all of that gets to stay exactly the same as it is. So it's not a lot of complicated rewiring or setting up the system to work with this. And some of the benefits of using the Wi-Fi throttles are they have a great range, um, you don't have runaway trains, and they just work. And they're just really fun to use and to operate. And let me start out by showing you how easy it is to set it up. Okay, so here is your basic Digitrack system. I've got a command station, a UR92, and a D-throttle here. And as you can see, it's just running wirelessly right now. And so what we'll do is we'll power this down and we'll go ahead and start the conversion. All right, to start the conversion, the first thing you need to do is add a jumper. Uh, it could be either a spade connector or a little loop of wire like this and that goes right here between the program A and the ground and this could also be done by using the op switch um, number two. Uh, you can refer to the manual on how to do that but I prefer using a simple jumper wire right here. So we'll go ahead and get those installed. Okay, now that we have the command station configured as a booster, we heard a series of beeps when it came on indicating that it is now running in booster mode and everything else is still connected just the way it was. Uh, if you don't have any extra local net plugs down here, uh, we do have a hub available that will extend that, very cost effective. And so uh, what you can do is just turn on your track power just like normal and you can see the orange light comes on just like you're used to. And so the whole layout will power up and run um, with the throttle, the receiver. Again, just like before, you can press the horn button there and you can hear it. So now that we have everything set up and we've tested it and we have layout power, the next step now is to go ahead and add the Wi-Fi throttles. Okay, so here is a look at the throttle. This is the Roco Wi-Fi throttle. Uh, it is very easy to hold in your hand, very lightweight. It can be used by younger operators, older operators. Uh, very intuitive, uh, it's user friendly. Uh, it has a real nice center off feature on the throttle itself there for uh, your speed. So this will be going to the right, this will be going to the left, center off. Uh, track power on and off button right here. Um, easy turnout control. Uh, so you can press the button here and then dial up the turnout number, hit OK. And on the throttle right here, you can see the turnout direction for a closed or a thrown turnout. And there will also be an indicator on the screen. Uh, so even if you can't see the turnout, and as long as it's wired correctly, then you will know the position of the turnout right here on the screen uh, just by looking at it. And so then you can change it to however you like. Uh, the, Throttle has full programming features in it, so you can program your locomotives with the throttle just like you're used to uh, with any other advanced type throttle. And so I'll just show you here, you can see it's flashing stop right now, indicating the track power is off. And we will click it, and you can see the command station has turned on, and the locomotive is turned on. And as I advance the throttle wheel to the right, here we go. You will see that the locomotive will start moving to the right. It does have a lot of momentum in it. And there's the horn button. And you can hear it coming on, and there it goes to the right. And then we'll go back to the center off, and it clicks right into place, so you don't even have to look at the throttle. 
And this works really nice for uh, yard switching or industry switching. And you don't have to find a direction button or even a toggle. You just move the wheel to right where you like it. And so that makes it really nice. Um, it does use uh, three AAA batteries. And I've got the cover off the back right now so you can see that. It has a place for a hook right here. And you can also attach a lanyard if you like um, to the bottom of it for your op sessions. And these batteries do last a long time. It's not a very power hungry uh, throttle. So um, it works great. And I've got to keep alive in there. That's why you heard that extra noise there at the end. Um, but all around, this is an excellent throttle. It works great for op sessions. Um, it does have a low battery indicator on here as well. So if you do start to get low on battery, you'll see it going down similar to like your cell phone. Um, but you can go through multiple op sessions um, on the batteries. Um, I prefer the rechargeable batteries. Uh, that way they're cost effective. You just buy them one time, keep recharging them. And then also a real nice battery charger uh, to keep those charged up. And I'll leave uh, some links in the description below for, for those as well. And so that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to add Wi-Fi throttles to your existing Digitrack system. Okay, just a few more things to help you improve your operations are if you find that you're at a large layout, modular layout, and you need some extra signal strength for your Wi-Fi throttles, it's not a problem. You can pick up a simple Wi-Fi access point or Wi-Fi extender from your local big box store. And those are typically only around $50, so not too bad. And that will give you all the signal strength that you need. Um, you can also continue to use your ops throttle like normal or the ESU mobile control two throttle. And because the DR5000 is multi-protocol, uh, it also runs ExpressNet. So therefore you can use uh, throttles by lens or these by CVP and you can use their uh, wireless uh, access point as well. And so you've got some wireless options there on those throttles. And then you have a whole slew of phone apps available or for tablets. Uh, you can use apps like RT Drive by Lens, uh, Digitrains, Digitrains Pro, the Roco Z21 is definitely a crowd favorite. Um, if you haven't looked at it, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, it has feedback, library, uh, just a lot of really neat features that you'll find uh, work great for running a layout just with the phone or even a tablet. So all that can be done there with the DR5000 as well. That about wraps it up for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those below or feel free to contact us by email. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.